it's a good Tuesday morning. So happy you guys are tuned in. Uh, I wanted to start just with a couple, a couple old songs this morning. Jesus, Jesus, how I love you, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I'll prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. This is my story, this is my song, I'm praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. morning so far got you a cup of coffee we are in psalms 120 or psalm 120 today um, and this is such a current and such a wonderful scripture and um, i'll start on verse one i call on the lord in my distress and he answers me save me O lord from lying lips and from deceitful tongues I read that verse again. Save me, O Lord, from lying lips and from deceitful tongues. What will he do to you and what more besides, O deceitful tongue? He will punish you with a warrior's sharp arrow, with burning coals of the, of the broom tree. Woe to me that I dwell in Meshach and that I live among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I lived among those who hate peace. Too long have I lived among those who hate peace. Am I a man of peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Golly, this is this was written ages ago, and are we not in a similar time? Too long have I lived among those who hate peace. Am I a man of peace, but when I speak peace, they are for war. Um, I think in our current climate, um, with COVID-19, with um, our, our current state of, of different race affairs and um, the state of where we are with our nation, um, there's not a lot of peace. And uh, what we what we do need is unity. Um, but this morning I was thinking, oh, I want to talk about, you know, praying for our enemies. And, and we do want to pray for our enemies, pray for those that persecute us. Uh, I think sometimes we can be a little victim and say, oh, they're, they're my enemies. And uh, when, when we really should just be praying for them, I think they're, we do have people that are saying deceitful lies and, and deceitful things to us. There's no doubt. Um, people say terrible things to, to everyone on a daily basis, whether that's on a small scale or a large scale. Um, however, I, I think that we, um, when we're talking about our, our enemies, we're talking about really one enemy, right? We're talking about 
uh, the enemy that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Um, because of because of him, even though that we have victory over him, we have life over him because of Jesus Christ in us, and we have hope because Jesus is alive. Even though the even though all of those things, the enemy is still at work here, and um, and there is one enemy, and we need to pray for our enemies to persecute us. So what what I'm trying to get at is. Uh, there, there are people that say deceitful and hurtful things, and um, and where, where 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 should we be? Where should we be in this current climate? Should we be to one side or to the other side? And um, I think where we should be is we should be we should be praying for both sides. I think that that Jesus would have prayed for the red. I think he would have prayed for the blue. Uh, I think the election is no surprise to Jesus. I think that he's not. Um, He's not sitting on his throne saying, hmm, I wonder, I wonder what's going to happen come November. Um, God is sovereign. He's in control. There's nothing that, um, there's nothing that is going to surprise him. So in this world that is not peaceful, in this world that is full sometimes of, of hate and, and all things that we do not want to see, we are not in heaven yet. And we are on mission. We are on mission to win and make disciples for him. We are on mission. I think a lot of times we think, ah, the end times are coming. Let's, let's hunker down. Let's, let's get down. And they could be right around the corner. Or they could be a thousand years away. We don't know. But what I do know is that God is sovereign. He's on the throne. He's the same yesterday and forever. So we can trust in him. And if we trust in him, then we can pray for our enemies. We can pray for those that we don't agree with. That, that's super hard is to pray for those that we don't agree with. Pray for those people that, that might be on a different side than us, but they're still made in the image of God. They're still created. They're still like me and you. They're created in the image of God. And uh, I, I just, I think the Lord shifted my, my, my thought. I was, I was thinking, ah, oh, let's, let's talk about, let's talk about praying, praying for our enemies and how, how uh, the Lord finds me in my distress, and he does. He does find us in our distress. But can we, can we out of that say, ah, I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to pray for them. They, whether they've said the most hurtful thing to you, whether they have discouraged you in, in the, the, the biggest way, um, you know, I, I just, it is, um, we're, we're to love those that, that hurt us. And um, I think that's so good. I'm going to read it one more time just just is so good. Uh, I call, I call on the Lord in my distress, and He answers me. Save me, O Lord, from lying lips, and from deceitful tongues. What will He do to you, and what more besides O deceitful tongue? He will punish you with a warrior's sharp arrows, with burning coals of a brim tree. Woe to me that I dwell in Meshech, that I live among the tents of Gadar. Too long have I lived among those who hate peace. And I am a man of peace. But when I speak peace, they are for war. I think we've got to continue to speak peace, to speak love, to speak hope, to speak joy. We are on mission. And there is one goal, and that is to win people to him. I want to pray for us and sing a couple songs. God, I just pray that you would give us uh, peace today. God, even when we speak peace and others don't speak peace back to us. God, even when we may find people that we consider to be our enemies, God, I pray that you would help us to love them. Love and pray for those that persecute us. I believe that you teach us that. God, whatever circumstance that someone might be waking up to this morning, one of my dear friends, God, I pray for him and his son as they are in the hospital today. God, I pray that you would touch them. For many people, wherever they're at, I just pray, God, that you would bring peace. God, even though that there might not be peace like heaven, God, we look forward to what heaven will be like. And God, we want to experience this life here as it is in heaven. We want to show people why it's so good to taste and see that you are so good. God, you are an inviting God. You're a loving God, a caring God, a hopeful God. You're a just and righteous God. God, we just love you and praise you. Pray for each person that's tuned in this morning. I raise a hallelujah. 
in the presence of my enemies I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies cherish the old rugged cross until my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to that old rugged cross and exchange I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Amen. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday morning. I hope this is a good start to your day. Remember, wherever you're at, what side of the election party you might reign on. We are all um, together. We're all, we all are in God's kingdom. He calls us his children. Um, we just want to pray for the people uh, on the left, on the right. We want to pray for people uh, that we might consider to be our enemies. Uh, we want to um, be on mission today. We want to be on guard today. Uh, remember that you're on mission. You're on task. Uh, take, take today captive. Um, love on someone that needs to be loved on. Maybe make that phone call that you have been putting off. Maybe send that text that you've been uh, not sending off. Um, so I'm signing off on this Tuesday morning. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. See y'all tomorrow morning. <laughs>